regardless of your major, you should still know how to budget your money. It doesn't matter if you're you know, a med school student, it doesn't matter if you're a psych student, it doesn't matter if you're a finance student, you're gonna be managing money every single day for the rest of your life. And unless you're that business major, you're not getting those classes or even kind of starting the, the, the communication. That it's true, not all majors teach money management skills. But the goal of financial literacy programs is to reach as many college students well before they graduate. Coming in your freshman year, we want to get you through this, engrossed in this process of, hey, you can take this freshman seminar course, you can get involved in the club, and then later if you want to get a little bit more in the weeds, you can take this personal finance elective, or eventually you can go through financial coaching. Students need to be reached year one, especially before studying abroad. Seeing students go abroad, especially my program, Lausanne, which is a little... A little tough on the uh, tough on the bank account, but just seeing students go and just absolutely become depressed by the fact that, oh my gosh, it is so much money. I wasn't expecting that. My parents are paying this, this, and that, and like just letting that taint their experience and that really just made me sad. As the instructor for the freshman seminar course on budgeting, as well as the personal finance elective. Brian Thomason wants to make sure students are allocating their money to the things they care about. I try to give them not just you shouldn't spend money on eating out or you shouldn't go to concerts because they're expensive or you shouldn't take weekend trips. It's make sure you're spending your money in a way that's consistent with your values. But students have to take the initiative to learn on their own. There's a lot of value in information and I think it's more about making students aware that information is available to them if they just pay a little bit of attention to it. I want to um, you know, make it something that students at least ask the question of. Students enter the budgeting class not completely confident. They're nervous because they perceive a budget as something that's going to limit them. A budget is not a tool to make you feel bad when you overspend, but budgets are built to empower you to get the maximum utility out of your money. It, it was really kind of funny because they get very defensive. About, well, it's okay because, and I'm like, I'm not judging what you spend your money on. It comes down to students being intentional and aware. Yeah, I don't want everybody to become an accountant and walk around with little notepads going, oh my gosh, I spent 64 cents on gum and there was $8.99 on sushi at Nature's Edge. But if they kind of go, wow, that was an expensive lunch and I really just needed a bowl of soup, that would have been $2 instead of 9 and then I would have had $7 to go to a movie tonight. Now they're making better decisions. Students have to learn how to manage their finances independent of their parents. I'm sure like they'd love to just do that for me, but I wanted to do it like by myself and really figure out how to like become independent in college and like do things on my own. Thomason offers practical ways students can be savvy with their money. Get in the habit of saving money now and, and save consistently. It doesn't have to be much. If it's if it's five dollars out of every paycheck, just begin building the habit of putting aside a little bit of everything that you earn. And universities are seeing a big push for peer on peer advising. Budgeting is a very personal process, but students need to learn how to ask the right questions while they're still in school. This is an individual experience, but there's also practical foundational uh, facts that you need to be kind of considering while you're going through that process.